now coming to the next method that is the embedded method in which they optimize the object function or performance of a learning algorithm or model in which the main thing is the decision tree that will up to the coming slides we will discuss about the decision tree first of all we will generally discuss the how the embedded method is work now you can see in this diagram the original features is forwarded to generate a subset and general steps generate a subset generated subset is forwarded to learning algorithm and after the whatever the training is made by algorithm which is forwarded to performance if the performance is not up to the mark then the performance will be revert back to generator subsets I mean this is a continuous loop unless and until the results are self satisfactory now this is the from general subset to performance this is the procedure we call the selecting the best subset this is how the general procedure is work so this is the embedded method how it is working now the embedded method is consist of the decision tree we will discuss the decision tree first of all as you can see the decision tree with example i am showing in present slides now here you can see this on the top list of this decision tree there are two giraffes two elephants from left to right side one tiger one rabbit and uh, again giraffe and again tiger means animals are given now it will be distinguish with the help of the colors now how will we distinguish if the color is yellow then the, it will be go for the height if height is equal to 10 foot or height is equals to less than 10 foot then it is a true and false for example if giraffe falls into category of height mm -hmm. then it will be a question mark if it is in less than equals to 10 it will be again in question mark mm -hmm. so if it is a true then giraffe will be in 10 feet category and if it is false the yellow animals are the tiger will fall into false category similar goes if the except yellow other animals having the less than 10 feet height if it is true then it is a monkey if it is greater than 10 feet then it's a uh false category and that is a elephant so this is how it is work so decision tree is nothing but a sorting techniques to sort the results with respect to their characteristics now another one examples a uh, non parametric supervised learning method is used for classification and regression to be used when target value is discrete instance can be described using feature value pairs upside down tree with root node at top followed by branching into do into decision nodes are finally terminal nodes use decision rules if we else in a layman terms now come to the next slide come to this picture uh, decision tree should i accept a new job offer for this is how the decision tree supposed to be this you can see how to choose a job so here with the examples we are going to explain if for my job salary at least 50000 dollars if it is yes the it will go to the another decision node if uh, this is a salary at least 50000 node is a root node huh? and that is a another also called decision nodes and that will go for the next if it is no then decline offer that is all these greens are leaf nodes means blue are decision nodes and the from starting from the starting the tree will be started it is also called root node and the green is leaf node if the salary is less salary at least 50000 dollars if it is yes then committed more than 1 hour or no decline offer if committed 
more than one hour if yes decline if it is no offer free coffee offers free coffee if it is yes accept offer if it is no decline offer once it is a yes and no get and put your uh, put your condition with according to your requirement so this is how the decision tree work things this is the wider explanation this is uh, on the topest you can see on the topest bubble or dot on the dot uh, topest label is called root node and these are the decision nodes i am just giving them here these are the decision nodes so how this is a decision tree example works now come to the next slide the decision tree elements as previously told you that a root node is nothing but a starting point start with most significant feature decision node is generator generated after splitting the root node and the terminal node is a leaf node or no further splitting is possible sub tree or sub section of tree this is a is called a uh, sub tree sub tree method so this is how it is work here you can see this is a root node it will be split into decision orange type of decision two nodes and the green was a terminal node and the blue line is called sub tree type or connecting leaf this is how the decision tree elements works now come to the construction of the decision tree instance are classified by sorting them down from root node to terminal node each node specified a test of some features and each branch descending from that node corresponding to one of the positive value of this feature id3 learns decision tree by constructing them based on the question which feature should be tested at the root of the tree each feature is evaluated using statistical property information gain to determine how will it alone classify the training example feature with the highest information gain is selected as a root node subsequent nodes are determined by determined similarly the process is separated until terminal node is determined how the decision tree worked